everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you my visit to London, England, my second stop on my month-long trip across Europe. I've always wanted to visit since watching Harry Potter and was super excited to be able to see the city in person. My first impression of the city was that the weather was gloomy and there were a lot of double-decker buses, just like I had expected. I also biked around the city and noticed a lot of policemen on horses and thought that was very interesting. My first stop was to go and see the iconic Westminster Abbey and the world-famous Big Ben. I learned as I explored inside that it was a church which was the place where coronations were held and it was also a burial site of the monarchs, which was all really fascinating to me. I had seen the place in pictures and movies but was not sure what the significance was. I was intrigued by the exquisite external infrastructure which was really detailed and intricate. I took a double-decker bus and toured the city and went to Oxford Street one of Europe's busiest shopping streets with over half a million visitors per day and scattered with world-famous flagship stores. For those of you who really enjoy shopping, it is definitely a place to explore. I had an amazing experience of walking around and going inside of the 19th century elegant architectural building and it was so different from the shopping experience that I was used to. I stopped by Trafalgar Square, one of the most vibrant places in London. It is a public square that includes some of the city's most popular attractions, such as galleries and monuments. It is also a place where demonstrations and rallies are held. Next place on my list is the Buckingham Palace, the official residence of the royal family. I was eager to see the balcony in reality that I have seen countless number of times in media. The building, which was built in the 1700s, was enormous and populated with extensive gardens. There were a lot of people at the gate taking photos, so it was quite crowded. I spent some of my time by a nice fountain and took some selfies and relaxed. There are lots of museums to explore in London, but I will share my top three. My favorite was the Imperial War Museum, which includes a gallery of the First World War and the award-winning exhibition on the Holocaust. I spent a total of five hours in a span of two days, since it was super informative and interesting. The galleries were amazing and the presentation was very vivid since there were interactive film screenings and stations that made you feel like you were at the scene. They also have a World War II exhibition that is launching at the end of 2021, which I would be super psyched to see. The Museum of London was great as well, since it gives you a good insight into the city's history from the first settlers to the modern times. The museum is free of charge and offers a very fascinating view into the history of London and how things came to be. The settings were very realistic and the galleries are in chronological order, so it feels like you are traveling to the present through each time period. The Fire of London experience was a very interesting exhibition that features the Great Fire that broke out in 1666, one of the worst events in the city's history which destroyed large parts of London. Another place I visited was the Churchill War Rooms, which is an underground bunker that Winston Churchill and his war cabinet used to shelter from bombings and plot their next steps during the World War II. The winding narrow hallways depicts the story of the dangerous and tumultuous time period. The historical rooms reveals a realistic setting of the plotting of strategies and really tells the story from the lens of someone who is actually present. I visited the Tower Bridge, London's most famous bridge. At first, I thought it was the London Bridge from the song London Bridge is Falling. That was not the case. The bridge is famous because of its striking and sophisticated neo-Gothic architectural design. I walked across the bridge and enjoyed the view of the Thames River. I really enjoyed my experience of taking a cruise along the Thames River, which I thought was a really great way to explore the city and see many different sceneries along the river. The cruise was from Westminster to Greenwich, where I was able to see the city skyline from the waters. I enjoyed great views of the Tower Bridge, 
Tower of London, as well as Shakespeare's Globe. I was also able to catch a glimpse of the London Eye, one of the tallest Ferris wheels in Europe, that offers a great panoramic view of the city. I definitely thought it was an enjoyable experience, especially if you are a first-time traveler, because the tour guide will be able to give you an overview of the many important landmarks in London. I got off at the stop where the Tower of London was located. I decided to tour the tower and took a walking tour. I learned that it was used as a fortress, palace, and prison, as well as it was the site of royal tragedy and death. It was used as a state prison for people who were serious threats to the monarch. The guide taught me all about the history and showed me the jewel house, which included the crowns and jewels used by the British kings and queens. I also saw the medieval palace as well as the bloody tower, which kept the prisoners. I really enjoy listening to the fascinating stories of the events that happened there. There is so much entertainment in London, so I decided to watch the Wicked musical, which is based on the Wizard of Oz movie. It has been popular since being released in the early 2000s and has been one of the longest running musicals. I really enjoy the experience and would really recommend it to those who have never seen it before. Everything I had done in London was really awesome, but I have to say my favorite part was traveling to the set of Harry Potter, where all eight films were produced. I traveled outside of London for 30 kilometers to visit Harry Potter's set, and it felt super exhilarating to finally be able to visit the set where my favorite book and movie series was filmed. I was immersed in the world of Harry Potter where I had a chance to see all the props and costumes such as Harry's house at Pivot Drive and his bedroom, get on the Hogwarts Express train, attempt to run into platform nine and three quarters, browse in Diagon Alley, and visited the iconic Hogwarts Great Hall where I waited outside the door, anticipating what will come as a first year student. I also saw Harry's dorm and Dumbledore's office. I was able to uncover many behind the scenes and secrets of the on-screen magic as I saw special effects and life-size models, as well as meet Voldemort. Harry Potter fans will surely have a memorable experience. Overall, my trip to London was super amazing and enjoyable, and I was finally able to go there after many years of wanting to visit. Learning about the different historical sites and history allowed me to better understand and appreciate so much about London that I was not aware of before. So overall, the trip allowed me to gain a lot of knowledge. London is one of the biggest cities I have ever been to, and there are so many things to see and do, so I was never bored. I definitely recommend visiting all the places I shared. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to see more of my adventures.